hello gorgeous welcome back to the channel this is me here again with another tutorial in today's video we are going to be making something incredibly stunning we're going to be making this gorgeous gorgeous headband that you have right here on your screen one of my awesome awesome clients placed an order for this particular headband and i went straight to work i did a combination of different textures of fabric and you'll also be surprised to know that this headband took me less than an hour to make it so easy to make as long as you get dimensions and the measurements right so if you'd like to know everything i did in order to come about this particular design of headband please make sure you watch this video to the end do well to share with anyone that you think would love this type of content finally if you're yet to subscribe now would be a good time to smash the subscribe button turn on your post notification and engage 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 all right guys let's get straight into today's video let's go to make this headband you need the following items you need your plastic headband of choice i'm working with this two inch plastic headband you'll also need a little piece of foam just like what i have right here on the screen you also need your glue of choice for me i'm working with this uhu glue the next thing you'll also be needing is a piece of fabric i'm working with this velvet material to first of all use to wrap my headband and then I'm going to be using Ashoke for the main design on top of the headband. Other things that you need are your scissors, your thread, okay? You need a matching color of thread to do some hand sewing. You need your tailoring chalk, your tape rule for taking measurements, as well as your glue gun. This is my headband after wrapping for my newbies on here. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and joining the fam. If you don't know how to wrap a headband neatly, I have a video for you. Okay, I'm going to link that video on the screen. If you can't be bothered to watch it right now, scroll to the bottom of the description bar of this video and you'd see the video right there. Click on it watch it in order to learn how to wrap headband neatly as a beginner that video is going to really really come through for you however i'm just going to continue showing you the different angles of my headband and i like the vibe that this velvet fabric gave the headband after wrapping this is my Ashoke kit i'm going to be using to create the ruffle design on top of this headband i'm going to leave the dimension on the screen please take note of the dimension feel free to make changes if you wish all right like i always say my tutorial is not the end all and be all feel free to make necessary changes where you think you would like to make them all right so this is me just threading my needle i'm using my regular three and a half inch needle okay feel free to use a smaller or bigger needle than that but this is what i find works for me with my hand stitches all right so after threading my needle it was time for me to just knot it up and then start doing my hand sewing with my hand sewing i placed my ashoki fabric at the center and i first of all you know measured it made sure that it was on it was divided into two equal halves then i placed the center of my ashoki fabric on the center of the headband so let me take that again you fold your ashoki fabric into two wherever the center point is place that point on the center point of your plastic headband you this particular plastic headband that i use is typically 15 inches long okay measure your own and divide the measurements into two and match the center of your headband to the center of your ashoke and right after doing that you start your hand stitch make sure that you secure that center point very very well can you see the way i'm placing my ashoke as well at this point talking might not really do it so even as you are listening to me talk and walk you through this process please also look at what i'm doing so you place your ashoke in such a way that it's kind of falling over the front wherever you want the front of your design to be and then you start to do your hand stitches behind and try to make your hand stitch very very neat because people that look behind you would see the joining that you did the ruffles that you did so if it doesn't look neat it's not going to be appealing to the eyes all right so especially if you are a vendor someone that does this as a business you want to make sure that your work looks really really neat such that your client is happy with what you made for them and you also probably get you know referrals from your clients when people see what they wore and they are interested in also patronizing you all right i just thought to share that tip right there so i'm just going to keep quiet now allow you guys see the way i'm doing my hand stitch make sure you don't skip any part so you understand clearly if you still have questions for me at any point in this video you know what to do but just in case you don't know please we are very free on here on the channel so feel free to drop your questions in the description bar okay but i always encourage people to watch to the end because chances are whatever question you have i've probably answered it 
in the video so try not to skip but if after watching all the way to the end you still have something that you're not so clear about please feel free to drop your question in the description bar also i'd like to make a call to action here if you've made it up to this point in this video and you're yet to hit the like button please 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 do well to hit the like button that's how i get feedback from you guys to know that you guys enjoyed watching and it also spreads my video to the wider audience you know we are trying to just fight and compete with this youtube algorithm so hitting the like button would do a lot to help all right guys let me keep quiet now allow you to pay close attention and i'll be back to talk to you really really soon At this point, I'd like to also point out that I chose to do my pleats or I don't know what to call it now. Is it ruffles or pleats? I think it's more of pleats, right? So you saw the way I was moving the fabric and creating very um, subtle pleats. You can decide to make yours tinier than this or wider than this. The choice on how you create the design at the end of the day is yours. If you are using a longer strip of Ashoki, if you decide to use a longer strip, chances are you are going to get a fuller um outlook on the ruffle that you are creating okay so the choice of how you want to pleat your fabric is all yours do you want to do wide pleats or little pleats and all of that for me i didn't do too much thinking i just went with the flow because i feel like with this design if you overthink it the design might not necessarily come to because funny funny story guys i've done this design like four different times for different clients and at the end of the day i just knew that something was off with how i made it but this particular one was a hit like it was a banger and i'm definitely replicating it and making one for myself as well so feel free to make changes where necessary i just thought to share that tip right there with you guys i also lost a bit of footage on how i completed the pleats but it's all good i'm sure from the little portion that you guys saw at the beginning of this video you are going to get the gist but like i said if you still have questions for me please feel free to drop it in the comment section also another thing i'd like to share is if you go ahead to replicate any one of my designs please feel free to share with me on any of your favorite social media platforms i'm more active on tiktok and instagram but just in case you're on facebook as well or any other platform i'm also there okay still the same name for maybe all worry on all platforms okay feel free to tag me in your posts or send me a direct message with your picture if you can't be bothered to tag me in your post anyway this is me just cutting up my thread and taking a final look at my design making sure that everything looks neat and there's no thread hanging out anywhere and there's nothing you know looking out of place right there you can see that i'm also still adjusting that's the beauty of ashoki because of the texture of the fabric you can adjust it and just make it look the way you would like but this is the end result and i think i did a fantastic job i also went ahead to place the design on this my cute little mannequin i feel like this mannequin is a is a what they call them now a shareholder on this channel it has appeared in a lot of my videos and ah uh, we've shared a lot of memories anyway i placed this design on the mannequin here just to take pictures and give you guys this cute little bureau clip if you guys enjoyed this video if you found you know the video useful please be sure to hit the like button just in case you haven't hit it yet please like the video also feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section let me know how you feel do you love this design do you think i did a fantastic job let me know your thoughts in the comment section finally feel free to share with your friends and family anybody that you think will find this kind of content useful please share with them and let them know what's going on on here on the channel all right guys before i leave if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification by hitting the bell button right beside the subscribe button thank you guys so much for clicking and watching this video up until this point you guys are simply amazing and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another tutorial really really soon Bye bye